What's good, YouTube? What's good, everybody? I got a new fit. If I seem a little black um, in the video, that's the camera. Um, I try to I try to fix it. It's not as bright as my phone. Um, so if you see me like that, then obviously there's nothing I can do. You know, that's not really how I look. It's just the camera. That's just how the camera is. I try to mess with the settings. Or I not really mess, but I try to adjust the settings. It's just not happening. Um, but anyways, man, today's video is about self-love. Um, I try to, you know, separate myself from people that's very toxic. You know, um, you know, and if you like, if you look at my YouTubers, the YouTubers that I follow, they're outgoing, they're energetic, they're energetic, they're 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 loving, they're kind, they're funny, they're goofy, they're this and that. Like for me, I don't spend no time unscribing you, unsubscribing to you, right? I look for YouTubers that's fun, that's hip, that think outside the box, that's funny, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just think that sometimes people use this platform just for the money, right? Like they don't care about, you know, how many videos they put out. As long as they could get the loop, it's... So oh, nobody can tell them nothing, you know. Some people don't do it for the money, you know. Some people do it because they love to do, you know. They love to do YouTube, right? Like me, I love to do YouTube. It's something that I was planning on doing when I got older. Um... But, you know, I just didn't have the time because I was busy with school and, you know what I'm saying, um, sports and stuff. So I didn't really have time to, you know, create one. You know, there was like saying a whole bunch of rumors, oh, you have to pay to create a YouTuber. Or you have to pay to be a YouTuber, you know. And, you know, knowing me, I didn't really listen to them, but... It, it was in it, like it was in the back of my mind, like, damn, do you really have to pay to be a YouTuber? And then I asked my brother, he said, hell no, nah. all you need is a phone, you know, and equipment, and you know, like a stand, like a like a phone stand, you know, one of those phone stands that they be using now these days, you know, or a camera, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he said, no, nah, YouTube is it's for free. It's for everybody, you know. Um, but I'm going to run you down a few names that I follow on YouTube. And, uh, you know, you can vouch if you know them or not. I'm just going to name the ones that I, I'm just, I'm just going to name the ones that uh, y'all all know. Okay. But yeah, self love is you know it, it's it's loving yourself, you know. Cause whether you're in a relationship or you know you're trying to be in a relationship, you know, you have to love yourself. You know, anything you do, you have to love yourself. You know. All right, I'm gonna go to subscriptions. Okay, so these are the people I'm following on YouTube, okay? These are the f people I'm following on YouTube. It may seem upside down, but it's not upside down. All right, so Artie Key, uh, Art, Arto Flakes, I mean Arto Kicks, is live, as, as obviously as you can see the red button. 
You can see the red button. He's live right on top. I follow him. I follow Two Lit Mafia. Um, I follow Six Rings of Steel. I follow Ron Effect. I follow Clark. I follow Soft White Underbelly. I follow Blasphemous HD TV2. I follow New York Giants. I follow Jaws Survivor Skills. I follow the DFS process. It's basically, you know, they, you know, you know, um, it's basically, um, you know, like he do like lineups for like, you know, um, sports, you know, baseball, basketball, football, you know. Um, I follow Drake, Drake Train. I follow TGS Anime. He just, he does like a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh concepts that's in right there. Oops. Yeah, he just he just does a whole bunch of um he just does a whole bunch of Yu Gi Oh scenarios and stuff. Like who would win in a duel, you know what I'm saying? Like what if, you know, Yu Gi held all, you know, the what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and he says that like what if Yu Gi held all six of the Millennium Puzzles? You know, would he be unstoppable? Uh, he explains the, explaining that, uh, the guardian, he explained, no, explaining the guardian archetype. Uh, he has, was Joey was about to defeat Mai. What if, you know, Yugi, I mean, what if Joey beat Merrick and took his Egyptian God card? Which he wouldn't anyways, because he didn't really know the, the, the cipher of the name. You know, he didn't know how to decode it, you know. And Merrick even said it in the in, in the in the TV show. Um, I follow Rob Squad reactions. Um, they're a great family. Um, they just do a whole bunch of music reactions and stuff. Um, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty good. Um, what you call it? Um, YouTube content. I follow Tyro Magnus. You already know who Tyro Magnus is. Uh, I follow Ja. Ja, I think that's how you pronounce it. J I A. She has a second channel. She does like survival skills. That's her right there. As you can see, she does like a whole bunch of survival like how to catch fish, you know, she'd be tenting outside and stuff, you know. Um, I follow Wild, um, Wild Sentence. They just, uh, he just basically, you know, does, you know, like who would win in the battles, uh, the giant short faced tiger versus the saber toothed tiger. How strong is the team? How strong is a chimpanzee compared to a human? Um, he already did um, a gorilla. Um, he said squid versus octopus. Who is the most powerful and who can win in a fight? Uh, six animals that could kill uh, Samodian. Uh, he has, you know, ten most powerful snakes in the world. He has the dark truth about baboons. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I also follow official Jim Cornette. He used to be a former, you know, manager of the WWE. Um, I also follow Marvelous, Marvelous Videos. Uh, he just basically, you know, talks about, you know, um, people from Marvel, you know. Um, like, for instance... The Sandman regions, you know, Sandman region explore Spider-Man's most immune villain with Im immensity, dangerous superpowers, you know, and then he says the Phantom region origin of the most powerful, mysterious, incredible, unique ranger, 
know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I follow Lockdown 23 and one. He just, you know, does a whole bunch of, you know, lockdown cases. You know, um, basically, you know, you just, you know, look at videos. You know, people facing jail time and stuff like that. I got DK. I got DK DSS. He's another. He's another one that does, you know, um, lineups for like, you know, sports betting and stuff. I got Rob Squad movie reactions. I got Line Maker Sports. Um, I got I got Deconstructed Goddess. Um, she was actually um, I, I actually follow her on um, Instagram. I met her through Facebook. She's a real she's a real uh, awesome person. Um, she does a whole bunch of uh, she does like live uh, you uh, she does like live Instagram and stuff like that. I got Dane Dane. S, I got, I know, I got Dang 08, he basically does like, you know, Final Final Fantasy games, you know what I'm saying, and this is all about self-love, man, I like, I just follow people who just, you know, who's at a men, you know what I'm saying, I got John, I got, I got Johnny, Johnny Ornett, uh, he just basically talks about basketball, like who really owns each era, is it world champions, when 15 seconds doesn't matter, top 10 players in the NBA, you know, he does like everything NBA, you know what I'm saying? Um, I follow um, 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 Lamont, Lamont at large, um, he just basically does like, you know, cemetery stuff, you know, like, you know, who killed them, and, you know, he just basically, you know, go through their, you know, history and stuff. He's a pretty cool person. Um, I got Ben, I got Ben Lionel Scott. Uh, he just does a whole bunch of reaction, motivational videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you down, if you sad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he just gives you, like, a lot of great, you know, Psyche, but not really psyche, but he just gives you a whole bunch of, you know, strength. Uh, obviously, I follow Knicks Fan TV. Uh, everybody obviously knows who he is. Knicks Fan TV, number one sports Knicks. You know, this is where I get all my Knicks information from. I barely even watch. Um, I barely even watch TV, to be honest. Uh... I don't even know why I'm. Well, yeah, Crystal Logic, Logical reacts. She just reacts to a whole bunch of Naruto episodes. Which, if I get that, my my ass would get copyrighted. But for some odd reason, yeah, she loves Naruto. Which is Naruto is not really that bad. Um, I got um real talk with with Nick. So he's another Nick. He's another New York uh, Nick Kerbacher fan. He just talked about the Knicks. Wow, he's almost at uh, 2K, 2K mid, 2K subscribers. That's pretty dope. He has 299 videos. I got C V Infuso. Uh, uh, in, in, Infuso. Uh, he just talks about you know uh, Marvel superheroes. Uh, he talks about the bat. He talks about Batman a lot. Um, he talks about you know who like the problem with the Joker, as you know uh, Nicholson Nicholson. Um, you know the worst Lex Luthor. Um, he talks about like TV shows. Um, I think he has one with Family Matters. How Family Matters died. You know what I'm saying? How, how, Prince of, how Fresh Prince of Bel Air died and stuff. Uh, I got, um, I follow um, Film Theorist. 
he just talked about like hypothetical stuff, you know, uh, scenarios and stuff, like the bomb in um, atmosphere isn't what you think. Um, he got uh, Sam Fury we found Barbie Land. Um, he got you know the deadliest match of school bus trip. Um, you know, you just got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, where was I? Did I skip? Oh, okay. I think I skipped one. Um, line maker. How to beat. I really like this dude. This dude is very good. Um, how to beat is basically he just, you know, takes movies and he, you know, puts his own twist to it. Like, how would you beat this movie? You know what I'm saying? Um, he did that for the, like, the, 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 what was that one, go what was that one game called? Um, how to beat Art the Clown. <clears throat> um, how to beat the Meg. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. Um, let's see. The truth is, he just, you know, he just exposes the truth, you know, about, you know, the, uh, the Illuminati and, you know, why these rappers are selling their soul and stuff. Um, actually, she got three channels. She got three channels. She got three channels. I love Asian females, by the way. I know she's from the Philippines, but, you know, she's, like, golly, she is. I don't know what they be feeding her or how, like, or or what she be eating. But, dang, she is. I'm just playing. Um, dang, I think I missed the skip. Salt Belly. Um, Ron. Okay, I follow the NBA. Um, I follow Miles. I follow, I follow Miles Dawkins 24-7. He just basically does, like, video games. He re he does video games, football, college, basketball, NFL, you know. Um, and I'm still talking about self-love, you know. Um, obviously, I'm face, um, I react to uh, Legion, the Legion of Sport, I mean, the Le Legion of Knicks podcast. Uh, he just reacts to all Knicks, you know, every day, every, every day, all day. Um <clears throat> Born for sports. Um, actually, actually, I'm 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 actually uh, 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 I actually met him on um, on Facebook. Um, so he's a pretty good uh, YouTuber as well. Um, he just got his channel up, um, so that's pretty dope. Um, I also react to Source Spy ninety one. He also does like a lot of adventure games, you know. He does Far Cry, he does God of War 4, um, he does Assassin's Creed, you know what I'm saying? He does uh, Resident Evil, so that's pretty good. But self love is about, you know, loving yourself and, you know, basically loving everybody, you know, around you. You know, like I don't, I don't like negativity, you know, I really don't. Um, Godly Fuel, um, I'm actually friends with her on um, Instagram. No, not Instagram. Um, I'm actually friends with her on on, um, on Snapchat. See, I can see. Maybe if I, nah, if I turn it upside down, that's even worse. So, yeah, Godly Fuel, she's at 99 subscribers, and she put out 215 videos. Not bad. I'm at 2.5K myself. But I thought I was going to have more subscribers than that. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, ah, Moses Prime. Oh, man, this dude is funny as sick. <laughs> I react to all his damn videos, man. His, this, this dude is funny. Like, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a show you a, a, a clip. This dude's voice is so damn funny. Like every time I hear, every time, I, every time his voice. Okay, this is Prime Cinema. Okay, this is his main channel. 
this is his main channel. It's called um, Prime Hood Cinema. You know, he just basically reacts to different types of movies back in the 70s, 90s, uh, 80s, early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? And he just puts his, you know, own twist to it. Uh, this is the one with Biggie Smalls. I'm just going to do it short. I can't show the video, but y'all can use all five seconds. Senses. The Legend of White Biggie Smalls. Just a little snip. Uh, I listen, and he has the one with uh, the rolling, um, the Bow Wow, uh, oh yeah, Roll Bounce. I never really got, I, I never really got into that movie. That movie was kind of a little bit crazy. Um, what else? I'm going to try to be here for like at least a minute. Or, I mean, an hour. So I'm going to be here for like, yeah, I'm going to try to be at least, <clears throat> excuse me, not really an hour. Um, probably like, I don't know, 20, 20, 24. As soon as I say 24. Um, I, I also react to Young Boy 11. He basically does a whole bunch of wrestling games from, you know, the SmackDown vs. Raw series to the 2K series, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is him right here. And like I said, man, this is just self-love, you know? I'm not really trying to, you know, expose them for the bad that they're doing, just, you know, for the love and kindness out of their heart, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want no feedback from it. I don't want no, you know, subscribers. You know, if y'all want to, fine, but I, you know, um, Artie Kicks, Arto Flicks, I believe. Um, you know, he just does a whole bunch of, you know, videos, you know, different videos, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tulip Mafia. Um, I started, um, I started, um, I started listening to him when um, he was doing a lot of Tommy McDonough videos. You know, I just reacted to all his videos when he was doing a whole bunch of Tommy Down videos. Uh, Six Ring is still, you know, um, he, I think he's one of the best um, rebuilders in YouTube. You know, most of the YouTubers that be doing these rebuilds, they don't really know how to do it right. You know, I'm not saying that they don't know how to do it right. It's just, you know, you know, they just you know, don't put a lot of emphasis on it, you know what I'm saying? But Six Rings is still, you know, he does a whole bunch of rebuilds from, you know, the NBA to the NFL. He doesn't really do college, I don't think. Um, I don't think he does baseball, so he just does NFL and football. Um, Ron Effect, um, I think, he, yeah, I think he was the first YouTuber that I um, saw on YouTube before I had YouTube. And, uh, you know, I used to watch him a lot. Even though he did say what he did say to me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, I don't hold no grudges against nobody. I don't know him. He don't know me. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. Um, Clark, <laughs> Oprah side. Uh, what can I say about him? Oprah side is, uh, he's in his own world sometimes. Uh, but, you know, he's a cool dude. Um, you know, we're both Aquariuses. I think he's, yeah, I think he's January, I'm February. So, you know, you can see the difference, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, he just reacts to a whole bunch of basketball, football, you know, music, you know. Um, he's a big Tom Brady fan, big LeBron James fan, you know. He says that when the day that retire, the day that LeBron James retire, the day, um, you know, he's going to stop watching sports or, I think, NFL or NBA. Uh, soft white underbelly. Um, I actually, um, damn, I forgot 
saying? Can, can, can I turn this to that? No, I can't. All right, so I actually watched Tough, uh, Soft White Underbelly um, when I was um, when I had like three subscribers on YouTube. That's him right there. I'm just trying to put like I don't know. Trying to put it right here so I can so it was better for me to do it this way instead of just you know because I'm holding two devices at once. So this is uh, soft underbelly. You know what I'm saying? This is soft underbelly. He basically uh, does interviews with you know people who's been on drugs. He, you know what I'm saying? Like he tries to help them. Um, you know people who's been you know. You know, you know, he, like he just, you know, out of his kindness, he just, you know, does what he can to help people that in, you know, dire situations. You know, um, I've been watching him with the Whitaker family. Um, pretty dope story there. Um, I think she's, I think he's teaming up with some lady named Lauren. Um, so that's pretty dope. Um, I'm gonna let y'all hear it one time, just a few times. I got a new haircut, by the way. Uh, I needed it anyways. <laughs> a, a new fresh start. I was gonna grow my hair too, but. See, this is them right there. You can't really see him because he's holding the camera. Yeah, so basically that's just a little snit, you know. But yeah, he he did, he does a whole bunch of uh, good things for people. Um, I follow back to Miss HD. Um, what can I say about him, man? Uh, he was actually my first YouTuber that I actually uh, subscribed to when I was doing YouTube when I only had like one subscriber, um, and you know. He never fails. He never fails to amaze me. You know what I'm saying? Like every time he, every time he goes live, I'd be saying his catchphrases. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. No, no, I don't do that. And then obviously he has aquaphobia, and you know he's scared of you know bugs and insects. That's just funny. He's a funny dude. You know he's a funny dude. Um. I feel like these are going like not even in order. See, do activities most relevant. Okay, there you go. Uh, the entertainer part, the entertainer talk of sports. Uh, this is where I get my Giants content from. Uh, talking sports entertainer, or the talking, or the entertainer talking sports. He just covers, you know, he just talk, he just covers. Uh, everything NFL, you know, he he covers everything New York Giants, you know, um, th that's all I have to say. He just covers everything New York Giants. I follow the New York Giants web or app, uh, Prime. I mean Prime. Um, eh, Prime Hood Cinema. I just talked about him a few hours ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I just. I just, for me, I just follow, or not really follow, but I just subscribe to people who who love themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't, I don't do all that negativity bull crap. Um, so, you know, self love. Every every single every every single subscriber that I have. You know, it's self love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kid the Gowie. Um man, I remember when I was like at, at at least you know, I was like I was at like two forty one, you know, and I and I and I gave him a shout out, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you know, he commented on my post and he told me thank you. Um, if I can find it, I'm gonna find it right now to let y'all know. That I'm not lying. Um, and yes, I'm a big Cuban Dolphin, as y'all can see. 
this is my page right here. You know what I'm saying? I got her wallpaper. I got her as my wallpaper. Um, wow, I have 47 views. This is a little like a short of her feet up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. Uh, if y'all want to go check out my uh, my professional breakdown of the New York Giants, 53 men roster, just go check that out right there. Where it says repping a Paxico Birds jersey today because the Giants because the Giants made me shoot myself. Um, I have to go to my videos. Popular. Yeah, I mean, look at this stuff, man. Like, I was hitting the bank. Like, look, my first my first video. Sasha Banks, I got 5K on that. I mean, look at Andrew's buns. I got 4K. I got 4.6K views on that. Sasha Banks' feet, I got 3.3K. No, I got 3.8K. Um, I did the um, Ronda Rousey versus uh, Liv Morgan. I got 3.4K. Um, I got, uh, I mean, I reacted to a Chicago rapper, Rico Reckless. Got caught with. Firearms is now serving three years in prison. I got two point. I mean, come on, man. But anyways, man. Um, and these are like my old videos. You know, when I first, first, first started. You know, um, that R.J. Barrett video had 196 views. My first time reacting to Tom McDonald, that had 37 views. Rico Records and Cuban Doll featuring Molly Brazy, that had 72 views. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find, because I, I mean, oh my gosh, I can't even find it to be honest with you. Um, oh yeah, there you go. See, it's right here. It's right here where my finger is at. Right there. So I said the uh, said the kid the kid the cow on hitting 100k. I'm gonna play it real quick. What's good, YouTube? Uh, Aquarius, Avon, and yeah, you see, <laughs> you can tell this is an old video. It's Aquarius, Avon, ADD. So I had to switch it up. My. <laughs> Because I was asking my brother, like, damn, what's a very nice name for my YouTube channel? And then I thought about Aquarius Airbound ABB. But I it, it felt like that shit was just too short, was too long, you know, of a name. You know, so I just, you know, said, you know what? I'm I'm just going to put, I'm just going to keep it Aquarius. And I'm just going to look for, like, something biblical, you know, something... You know, mytholo um, mythology, you know, Greek mythology, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's the way I came up with Aquarius Leviathan Prophecy. Um, yeah, so this video only had like 132 views, and this was like three years ago. Um, the date was March 8, 2020. This had 24 likes and 132. In 132 views, and it had eight comments. Okay, see, he posted it on my. Uh, he posted it right there. Let's see, I can see. So I want you to get a good close look up. See, see, he's he's right on the top. He's right at the top. He says, I love this video. I would like to say thank you for being one of the 100K subscribers who helped me reach this milestone. Your support means the world to me. The fact that you went out your way to make this video a, a reward to me. The, uh, the fact that you went out your way to make this video congratulating me is even more uh, incredible. Once again, to, I thank you to I thank you. For all for for that, just a little fun fact: I graduated from a two-year college, but dropped out of university to pursue my career. I mean, to pursue my dream. 
And so far, I can admit that it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I see that you're, I see that you're an inspiring YouTuber yourself. And my advice to you is to keep grinding and never give up. It took me eight years to reach this milestone due to my inconsistency. Stick to the grind and you can achieve it much quicker than I did. I'm rooting for you. Stay blessed. Kid the golly. And then I replied, I appreciate your words of wisdom. That's me on the bottom. I appreciate your words of wisdom, yeah. And not a lot of YouTubers would say, would do that. And same here. I did it three year finished, but there was nothing in my field for work. So I hope I'll hit 1K. And then other people obviously chimed in. Uh, I support you, my guy. Um, I support you, my guy. Um, another one said, that's love, my guy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm just going to play it real quick. Before I had like what, 240, yeah, I believe I had like 241 subscribers. The next following day, I woke up, that doubled. That went from 241 to 2 to 351. Right now I'm at, no, yeah, it went from 3, no, it went from 240 to 3, 330. Three, 330 subscribers. Right now I'm at 356. I got a lot of people who went to college or probably did go to college and never finished it. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a blessing. Um, you know, I mean, I just found out that, uh, I just found out that, uh, you know, one of my favorite or probably my And again, this is all self-love, man. I'm just saying, um, I'm just reacting to y'all who I react to, you know. Um, again, I look for people who's, you know, authentic. You know, I look for people who's genuine. genuine. I look for people who's outgoing, you know, who think outside the box. You know, I don't really like negativity. I really don't, you know. Um, but yeah, this is a little snip, you know. Um... I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my, um, if y'all can go ahead and, 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 if y'all can go ahead, if y'all can go ahead, if y'all can go ahead to my playlist and just, you know, like every time I drop Cuban Dolls, anything about Cuban Dolls, just run up the, the views. That's all I ask. I want really a thousand views on, on, on my Cuban Dolls. See, I even called her. Aaliyah Keith, which is not really her name. A lot of people call her Taylor. I don't really know her name, to be honest with you, because uh, it's not really in her uh, Wikipedia, you know, but, you know, everybody, you know, called her Taylor growing up. Um, so I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to play a little clip for from Kid Degawi. Um Cause they be doing like these one minute clips and stuff. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to react to something that's short. 
Okay, I'm going to react to this one. LeBron James rants to Danny Green after blowout win against Blazers. Small day, man. That dude is funny. Oh man. All right. So next up, I um, I react to Mark. Mark YD one two three. He just does a lot of you know wrestling videos. You know he's very funny as well. Um, he reacts to Kurt Angle final run. Uh, he reacts to uh, how was the greatest tag team. Of a generation was wasted. The machine gun. Hey, I tell you, man, the machine guns and TNA was, man, they had very, they had a lot of potential, man. I really do think that the machine guns could have beaten probably half of the tag teams that the WWE had at the time. Um, you know, he does like bad matches and stuff, but the really one, the one I really like is where he takes, you know, wrestlers and. You know, he ranked some of how good he was the like the insane wrestling career of Teddy Long. Was he a great wrestler? Was he not a great wrestler? Was he a terrible wrestler? Uh he did one for like Stephen McMahon, you know what I'm saying? Um I again uh Ja Ja survival skills, you know what I'm saying? I really love Asian females. Um Asian and, and Hispanic females I really like. Um so yeah, so she just does a whole bunch of survival uh, skills and stuff, you know, how to sleep, you know, at night and how to, you know, uh, like solo overnight, solo camping and stuff, you know. Um, so, yeah, CJ Sports Network. Oh, man, this dude is, this dude is funny, man. Um, he does everything from, you know, the NFL, NBA, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, 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 he really does show me a lot of support. Um, I'm going to probably tag him. Um, and hopefully he does, you know, uh, get this video. Um, this is all about self-love. Um, you know, I'm, this, this video is really about uh, the, subs the subscribers that I, or the YouTubers that I obviously, you know, you know, um, support. Or, you know, I think that, you know, they have self-love, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I li uh, this is another one. They, it's called Flemmo Raps. Uh, if I butcher that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, he just, you know, does a whole bunch of sport analysts. You know, he just takes his, he just takes every, you know, sport analyst, uh, sport videos, and, you know, he just gives him, he just gives him his, his take. Like Thursday night football is basically going through puberty. <laughs> I don't even know why the NFL ever did Thursday night football. Uh, and then obviously he did the Stephen A. Smith and I mean Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp feud and stuff. Um, so he's pretty much pretty good. Um, Shy Na, Naya, Shy Naya. Uh, she just yeah. I follow. Oh shit. I follow her on, um, I'm just going to put this back. Um, I follow her on Instagram and, um, I think on TikTok, but she never replies though. Um, she's, she's a nice female. She really is. Um, I don't really live that far from her. 
Um, I think she lives in Orlando or Tampa, one of those one of those places. So I don't really know where she lives. Basically, um, she has a hundred videos, but she has one point seven seventy eight k subscribers. But she was just like me, to be honest with you. You know, I think we was like in the same boat, but she was like further up. Like I was like I was around the, like three three. 320 she was like around three no she was she was around like 540 something subscribers so she's gone up um i reacted to three riser um he just does a whole bunch of conspiracy theories you know what i'm saying um he does the the, the bikini he does the spongebob with the relentless horror bikini bottom he does the mask um, he does the cat in the hat. The cat in the hat is pure mild, mild violence. Um, he does SpongeBob the Flying Dutchman is the Roman Death Gene. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just, for me, I just look for YouTubers that, you know, out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Drake, uh, Jake Tron, Train, um, he just does a whole bunch of, you know, conspiracy theories, stuff like, uh, meet the most dangerous men in Russia, it's not Putin, it's not Putin, uh, why is there a shortage of doctors, uh, why is Russia is attacking the U.S. electric grid, you know what I'm saying, like, stuff like that, you know. Regulatory, our, regulatory, our regulation is literally a scam, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, obviously. And uh, I also follow BuzzFeed Unsolved Network. They just basically goes through, like, unsolved murders from Biggie Smalls to, you know, Tupac to, you know, did O.J. Simpson really kill, you know, that girl? Uh, you know, there's the two palms death murder part one. Uh, there's another one, the the Bermuda Triangle. You know what I'm saying? So they just, you know, break down to what happened and stuff like that. Um, I did Rob Squad. I did Tyrone Magnus. Um, she does have a second channel. I can't really put. Uh, I'm uh, I'm Ja Anu. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I butcher if I butcher the name, I'm sorry. Um, another one I listen. Uh, uh, this is called the Lonely Girl 21. Um, she had a bigger fan base than this. I don't know what happened. Um, I really don't know what happened to the fan base. Um, I really don't know what happened to the fan base. Um, I have I follow the New York Knicks, everything New York Knicks I follow. So yeah. Um I already reacted wild. Um this is uh SSS campus. He does baby uh he just uh Again, you know, you know, you can do whatever you want on your channel, you know. But for me, I'm not a feet guy, you know. I'm more of a, you know, long tongue on the female, big butt. You know, it don't really have to be big, big, but it just has to be, you know, you know, thick and juicy, you know what I'm saying? But he likes feet, you know, which is fine. Um, you know, he does a whole bunch of feet content. Um... You know, I just think that, you know, feet is the most disgusting thing because your feet is almost all the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it, you know, a lot of these females' feet be on the floor. Uh, they barely wear any sandals. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, feet is a like, feet, you're like, the worst two things in your body is the feet in your mouth because obviously you put everything in your mouth and your feet is always constantly on the ground. So to me, I just think it's it's pretty, you know, 
Um, pretty odd, but, you know, kudos to him, though. Um, Jazzy Guns, obviously, she does, she does a whole bunch of, you know, um, gaming and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to run down the, through the list. Uh, follow Jim Cornette, the Fisher Jim Cornette. I already did Marvelous Videos. I already did Lockdown 23 and 1. I already did TKDFS. I already did Mob Rob Squad Movie Productions. I already did Line Makers. Did I do Night? No. So he basically does um, betting tutorials. You know, if you're a betting person like myself, um, how you do you get better? How do you, you know, win consistently and not lose, you know, your 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 savings and stuff. Um, so basically he just gives you tips. You know, he does baseball, basketball, NFL, you know, you know. Um, I already did the deconstruction godness, I already did Dang, Dang's Away, I already did Johnny, I already did Large Amount. Lamont at large, I already did Ben, Lionel, uh, Scott, I already did How to Beat, I already did Nick's Fan TV, I already did uh, The Film Theories, I already did The Truth, I follow the NBA, uh, she has, she actually has three videos, I mean three channels, this is her second, no, no, this is her third one, Kupu, wait, Kupu Channel? New Kupu channel. I already did Miles Jack from Seven. Um, Sir from the Six, obviously. He's a very funny dude. He's also an Aquarius as well. Um, I I remember I I used to react to him um, in the bubble, I believe. Um, so yeah, I hope I get to see him sometime around this year. Um, Cinematic Venom. Cinematic Venom, um, he does a lot of um, movie tutorials. Um, he takes the movies from the 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, and, you know, he just goes through, you know, you know, he just goes through, you know, it, you know, with his point of view. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I guess he's trying to crack a thousand videos. Um so that's pretty good. He's a good YouTuber. Um, I already did Legion of Nick Sports Pass. I already did um, Born for Sports. Uh, um, Tramp, I mean Stamp Fairtex Channel. Again, it shows. You know, I love Asian females, man. Uh, she's a very young boxer. I think she, I believe she's the age of 25. She she does MMA boxing. Um, but yeah, she's obviously a, a YouTuber as well. Um, she fights almost every other month or whatever. I mean, she don't really fight like that, but she fights almost like every other month. Uh, let me see. 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 Uh, I react to BDF Network. He just does. He just does a whole bunch of funny rants on wrestling and stuff. It's very funny. I mean, obviously, she re he reacted to Alexa Bliss being being pregnant. Um, he gave his thoughts on the new WWE World Champion. Um, you know. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, I react to Perky TV. Um, I react to Mercedes, uh, obviously, a.k.a. Sasha Banks. I react to uh, Truth or uh, Reality. I react to CJ, uh, CK, uh, CK2K. I react to NBA, NBA, uh, NBA on TNT. Um, I react to Super Draft, Daily Fantasy Sports. Um, I react to CK Family TV. I react to Mythology Factor. Um, I react to Malika Andrews ESPN. 
I react to Moses Prime, that's the second channel. I react to Young Boy 11. I react to uh, Nothing But Nicks. Um, I react to Savage Robot Reacts. I react to Cosgrove. Um, I react to Mythology and Fiction Explained. I react to New York Knicks, Terry and Trey. Um, I react to Girls of Aqua. Um, and this is my second channel right here. Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, Nick's Hope Savior. This is my channel right here. If y'all want to go and follow me over there, y'all can. Um, I only got 15 subscribers and 97 videos. Um, but I don't really, post. I mean, I had three, I had three, um, I had three YouTube, no, I had three, uh, YouTube channels, but the tablet that I had before, the Samsung, I forgot the password to it. I remember the email, but I forgot the password to it. So when that tablet got broken, it was like, I was out of luck. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, so go check it out. Um, yeah, and I, and then and then Georgia, Georgia Marie, she just does a whole bunch of uh, 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 in, in investigation uh, into, into like horror horror stories and stuff like that. As you can see, you know, I mean she's. She's a lesbian, but, you know, rock on lesbianism. Um, Brad Rules, he does a whole bunch of wrestling and, you know, retro videos and stuff. This is him right here. He hasn't really been on that much, um, but he has 7.76K subscribers, which is pretty good. Um, and last but not least, Dank Ops. Now, Dank Ops is very funny. He he, react, yeah, he does a whole bunch of uh, uh, wrestling comp, uh, compilations. Uh, he even does uh, football, basketball, um, video game wise. He does, um, you know, ba I don't know if he does baseball, um, but he, I know he does a lot of wrestling. I so yeah. Wow, I'm almost 59 minutes in this video. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if I left anybody out, um, oh yeah, Savage Robot reacts. This guy is funny. Um, I'm trying to. I mean, obviously he's a video. I mean, he's a subscriber that obviously you know he, you know, exposes a lot of people. You know. Um, I mean, obviously, um, this is the latest one he did about Beyonce hitting secrets about Sasha Sears and preg pregnancy reaction video. Um, he reacted to Th Young Thug, Soul to Soul. Um, he reacted to Oprah Winfrey is already dead and it has been a clone video. Why is it, some of these videos are very long. Usually he has like a minute and some change videos. Now he has like, you know, he even took a shot at Stephen A. Smith. He said Stephen A. Smith of ESPN first take has deceived everybody. And I'm gonna watch this too. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Didn't his mom die or something like that? Because I know he has a lot of sisters. Or somebody him reacting to him. He already said, he said, I'm back on the scene like a crack dealer. This Robert, this, this savage robot reacts is funny as shit. Excuse my language.
nasty man, but it's your life. But back to the real business. And in here to talk about Stephen the whole Smith. Stephen Holmes. Oh my God, Stephen Holmes. I'm dead. <laughs> he said Stephen Holmes. Stephen A. Smith never grew up without a dad. I think his dad left him. Um, and he was raised by, you know, his, he was raised by his mom and sisters. And you see why he's the way he is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, he's done better for himself. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You know, I think he can lower down the, the mosity sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he does tend to lash out a lot like a female but you know obviously you know I knew I grew up with a lot of people who who didn't have any father figures in their life you know what I'm saying most of them you know went insane some of them kept their head under high water you know what I'm saying um it's just how you you know carry yourself and how how you go through it you know what I'm saying um but yeah but anyways man but that's all I got for you, man. Um, basically, this is a one-minute video. Um, obviously, I was just trying to put my, you know, I was just trying to put my, you know, two cents apart, two cents in it. Um, but yeah, man, it's all about self-love, man. Every single, every single subscriber that I just mentioned in this video, I have the most respect for them. Um... You know, I don't listen, I like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't condone myself in a way that, you know, most, most, most people might think. Um, you know, I'm a very humble guy. You know, I don't like drama. I really don't. Um, I look for YouTubers who are drama free. And every single one of these guys or girls I just mentioned I, in this video is drama free, you know, and, and I had no zero problem with them at all. And there's some that that's there, but it's not they they're not really that relevant. But um, but I followed them despite you know. Um, but yeah, man, um, I just think that self love is very important in life, you know, because the way that you are. You know, like, your YouTubers reflect you. You know, like, you know how your mom reflects you, your dad reflects on you, your brothers and sisters reflect on you. It's the same way about YouTubers. Your YouTubers is a reflection of yourself. You know? If you like drama, if you like this, if you like that, if you like chaos and all that, then you're going to attract the subscribers that you attract. But if you happy-go-lucky, you know, down-to-earth, caring, loving, then all, like I said, all the subscribers that I just mentioned in this video have self-love in all of them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a reason why I don't react to DRC World. There's a reason why I don't react to... Um, What's that dude's name? Um, Flight reacts. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason why I don't react to those type of people. It's not like they're bad people. It's just that, you know, I just feel like their energy is just, you know, dark. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they're not really funny. You know, they're not really entertaining. You know? um, but, you know, I, I'm not saying that they're the bad people. But to me, I just don't, you know, react to them, you know. Um, but like, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.